available. Have fun. We're Welcome ready. back to Houston Life. When it comes to participating in sports, fees for leagues or lessons can be out of reach for many families. But the Dynamo and Dash have just kicked off a series of free soccer lessons for local kids. It is very popular. It is called Futbolito in the City, and it's being held at parks around Houston. Here to explain the program and show us some of what the kids will be learning is the Dynamo's Director of Youth Development, Juan Vega and Juan Carlos, also known as JC Martinez, Youth Programs Coordinator. And we have Hunter and Max, children of our producer, Christy and Gabriel, along for the ride. Guys, welcome to Houston Life. Uh, let's talk about how this program, because what we said in the intro, I think is very, very true. For a lot of families, participating in team sports is a no-go simply because of the cost. But y'all wanted to remove that barrier for the young people in our city. Correct, so Futbolito in the city, powered by Shell Energy. Um, it started off as kind of a safe space for kids to play. It's now become seven locations. We're all over the city. Um, basically, the kids partake in multiple activities. We do ball mastery, which these guys are gonna show us in a bit. We One player, one ball. Most of the time, every single kid is gonna be able to participate, ages six to 14. So it's a fun environment. We also partnered with the mayor's, um, what's it called? Anti-gang unit, yes. so the yes. mayor's office. Cool. They also take a station. Um, they get to then educate the youth and talk to the youth to hopefully prevent any kind of wrongdoings in the future. But again, it's a fun program. It's open for anybody in the city, and we're, again, we're at multiple locations. I think it is so wonderful to be able to offer this. Of course, we love the Dynamo, we love the Dash. And JC, do we need any experience? Like if our kids are like, have never picked up or kicked a soccer ball, does that matter? None at all, none at all. That's what we specialize in is getting those kids through that introductory phase and getting them a nice foundation. So that way it's removing the kicking and just a lot of the chaos that goes with it and actually make it a little bit more controlled and really teaching them how to understand their body in relation to the ball. And it's wonderful for kids from two all the way to 14. You mentioned uh, partnering with a mayor's anti-gang unit. Can you give us sort of the bigger picture idea here and why it's so important for the Dynamo and Dash to ensure that, that sports are accessible for young people, how it strengthens our community, essentially? Yeah, so we started about two years ago. Um, so uh, two years ago, we were at Jane Long Academy. So when we were there, uh, one of the main issues is that that community is riddled by a lot of gang members. So they were recruiting from those areas. So what we did is we partnered with those guys. We were able to then come play soccer there and kind of help those kids out to also kind of fall out of that loop. From there, we actually recruited our first player. His name is Davey. We scholarshiped them, which is another amazing program. A, a part of this program is we are able to scholarship kids. Davey was our first recipient who was able to then play at a high level, and now he's in our academy program. So this is going to be his first year. He's our first scholarship recipient. Uh, he's going to be our first academy player as well. From it's that fantastic. Keeping young people essentially occupied. They're focusing on physical activity, developing skills coordination, it really is incredible. Yeah, yeah. So that's what these guys are doing right now. So you see one of the skills that we work on is a slide. There's no kicking involved. It's all about skill acquisition, getting one player comfortable with the ball and then helping them play. What is so great too, and you talked about this, JC, you don't need any experience. And of course we have the boys here, but girls are also invited. Yes. Um, this is also great if, if they're playing other sports or just trying to improve that hand-eye coordination as well. Yes, of course. It's, it's, it's massive for the development to one, it removes the the setup where it's one coach for 20 kids. Yeah. Now it's just putting them in relation to just that one ball and it helps them focus on just that one item. But it's, it's great seeing their development. We have kids that have started off with us in September and then by the time a year has passed or even two weeks have passed, their growth in it, they become so much more confident with it. That's the biggest thing we're looking to do is build the confidence in each player. And it's available all over the city. Herman Brown Park, Memorial Park, Dean Middle School, uh, all middle school, I believe is how it's pronounced. Right. You can register online. Let's talk a little bit about uh, what the guys are doing, Max Hunter and Gabriel. So right now, like we said, they're working on the slide. So this is one of our introductionary skills. So all of our skills are either age specific or level specific. So any kid that hasn't played, right, or they're new or they're extremely young, this skill develops balance, it develops coordination, and kind of develops that eye-foot coordination that we're talking about, something that's not normal for a lot of kids. So by them developing this, this kind of lays down that foundation to later on be able to control the ball, right, in the different games and also in the games that we play in. Mm -hmm. And we're also teaching sort of higher level too. So if there are experienced players out there, you're helping to improve them oh, yes. and just the knowledge of the sport. Yes, Correct. of course. Yeah. Can so we, we put you on the spot and ask you to demo some uh, higher level skills? Yeah, Juan of course. JC? All right, boys. So right now, again, we're teaching the slide. We just started teaching this about 10 minutes ago and they're extremely they're already doing already. It. And what we're gonna have them do now to expand it, boys, start doing the slide, go backwards, go forwards. Can you turn with it? Try it now, boys. Go ahead and try it now. 
Start turning, start going forward, start going backwards. Can you keep it going? Now from here, we start doing what you call putting two, two moves together. So real quick, boys, leave the ball where it's at. I want you all to practice stepping over the ball. Just step over it. Quick little step overs, quick little step overs. Go, quick little step overs. Now, can you put it together? The step over and the slide. Ooh. So as you step over it, you're sliding immediately. Oh, there you, there go. you go. Step over it and slide. And as you go, remember, go and for it, And that's basically go for how you're dribbling Ooh, and then slide away it, from slide another it player, the right? Yep. And again, this was 10 minutes ago. We started working with these guys. That's awesome. So there's already some development going on. There's that's some coordination excellent. going on. And there's some confidence and some self-belief that's happening now. It's yeah. so cool to watch. What's the response been for the young people in the program? It's been fantastic. We yeah. have so many kids that have been repeating, coming back and forth. And they, from there, they start to take that into their classrooms. And they take that into their club teams. They come back and bring more of them. And that's great. the engagement from them. And then you're seeing their coaching staff, their directors start to get involved with us as well. And that leads into other programs that we do, our club program. So we're involved with Paraland, we're involved with other clubs around the city, and we're helping their growth and their, their development. So That's it's expanding in multiple different areas. That's Area. the part is we get to work with these coaches that we normally don't get to work with. Right. Now by scholarship and these kids to those clubs, we build those bridges with other clubs in the city, and now they're able to host kids, and we're able to also work with that program and develop their coaches and their players as well. Very nice. Juan and JC, thank you so much uh, you. for stopping by. Hunter, Max, Gabriel, thank you gentlemen as well. You're doing a great job. And seriously, guys, what a fantastic program for our city. Congratulations. Thanks for doing what you, you do. If you would like to sign up for the program, you can visit our website. Look for the scene on Houston Life section. That's at HoustonLife.tv.